Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about the basics of GPS. And so we're gonna start at the super, super basics here of looking at the screen and interpreting this information. So what we are running today is the cat grade control system. Uh, this is their newest iteration of their GPS. And I have to say, I am super impressed with it. Uh, I've gotten familiar with it over the last couple of days and it is just such an amazing user-friendly system. They've done such a good job on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swipe twice to the left and I'm gonna go back into our plan view here. And this is going to be kind of a beginning screen that you may start on. And what this is, is you can see, this is our entire site that has been programmed into the GPS. So we have the entrance of our sub here. Let me zoom in a little bit. We have our pipe crossings going across. We actually have house pads and septic fields on here. So we know where those are all gonna be. And we follow it back into the back of the sub. And you'll see we are working in this retention pond right here. So that's kind of this general overview is showing you where you are on the map and what your dozer is doing. And we can do a couple things here. We can set it to where our dozer, as we, whoops, sorry, let me turn my parking brake off. As we move around, the map will stay due north and our dozer will move around. If we hit this button here, our dozer will always face north and the map will move around our dozer. So that's one button. This button over here, let's say we're off looking at something over here and we wanna recenter ourselves, boop, we just recenter. The really nice thing about this GPS is it's all touch screen. We can pinch to zoom out. We can spread our fingers to zoom in. We can move it all over the place. It's super, super user-friendly, super intuitive. If you aren't familiar, these two red strips here represent what used to be our light bars. On traditional GPS systems, you had physical lights that would go yellow, green in the middle, and then yellow, uh, depending on the color scheme. Um, but green was when you were on grade, and then you know, however many lights above or below was how many tenths you were away from your grade. This has replaced those light bars. And so what you'll see is as I drop my blade down close to grade, my left tip is now at grade. And so I'd have to rotate my blade. I may not have the angle to get it down there. Oh, I do, okay. So right there, my blade is perfectly on grade. And that makes sense because I'm right on the dirt here. So down here in your corners, you're gonna see the cut for your right corner and your left corner. And as you see, that will change. So I actually, at my blade height right here, I have a 0.95 cut on my left and a 0.65 on my right. If we angle our blade, you're gonna see that change and it's corresponding with our light bars. Up here at the top, we have horizontal offset, our vertical offset. We will get into that on another video, don't worry about it. And then we actually have our elevation currently versus our design elevation. And that will give you an idea of where you are, are at relative to grade. If we swipe over here, you actually have a little bit more information, which is actually your coordinates and how many satellites we're connected to. I don't ever use this, so I'm gonna swipe, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna swipe back over and keep it on that screen. If we go up here to layers, you actually have the ability, whoop, maybe not, Never mind. just kidding. So if we click this button, this is one of the most powerful tools on this GPS right here. This is going to go through and wherever we have taken our dozer, it's mapping cuts and fills. Blue is gonna be a fill area. Red is gonna be a cut area. Green means we are on grade. And so you can see we've been all over this site. Let me zoom out so you can really see it. We have mapped a ton of this site and you can see exactly what's going on and where you need material. This is a super powerful tool, especially if you're a small contractor like these guys on this sub, which by the way, if you don't follow my vlog channel to know where I'm at and what I'm doing, click up here to go follow the vlog. But this site that we're on, it's a small company. We don't have any other real GPS equipment out here. So we're using this machine to kind of map our cuts and fills to know where we need to take material. So this is a really, really powerful view. Uh, this button here is going to change which blade tip our GPS focus is on. 
Again, we'll get into that in another video. We're not gonna worry about that today. This button here, we can actually drop a point. So whichever blade tip is selected, if I hit this, it's gonna drop a pin for us. And that is a hyper accurate GPS pin. So an instance where you would use this is, let's say we had a piece of edge drain or a pipe that we were gonna to have to bury over and expose later. We would come put our blade tip right on that point and then we would hit that button. We can then hold that down click on our point and we can edit the name. We can, uh, it's got the GPS coordinates, it's got the elevation on it, and we can also put it on a layer where we can turn on and off that layer so we don't have to have a ton of points uh, that are interfering and conflicting with each other. Or what we can do, because we don't need this point, we can click that and hit delete. You also, I don't know if you saw, you had the option to navigate to the point where it's gonna show you a line exactly where you need to go. Uh, this button here, we're not gonna get into today. I'm, we're, not even gonna, we're not even gonna go down that road today. We might not even go down that road, period. Uh, up here, we have settings for our tablet, and so you can actually change your layout, you can change the ribbon, the colors, the overlays, what those look like. So we can actually change what information shows up with our points. There's tons. This is one of my favorite things about this GPS. There's a ton of customization to really get the view down to the information that you need. So then we have a settings button down here. This is where you're going to use. These two right here are going to be the main things that you're going to use. But there are lots of other things that you can, you can do within this menu. But the ones that we're generally going to be concerned with are possibly job setup if you have multiple files that you're using. For instance, you have a rough grade and a finished grade. Um, you may have to get into your job files and select different job files. Your horizontal guidance and elevation offset, which correspond to these, you're going to be using most of all. The other thing I wanted to show you is when we engage the automatics, I'm going to click my button. Oh, let me put the machine in a mode where it's going to be happy with me when I hit that button. When I engage my automatic, so I'm going to hit my button here, you're going to notice with GPS, it's not going to take over if you're way crazy out of range. It has to be close enough to the grade, and sure enough, it jumped right in. And you notice we've got green. That means that we have found grade, and that can be confirmed with our light bars here. You can override that. And once you get out of range, it will not catch itself. So if I do it a little bit, the GPS will kick it back down. But if I really pull this back and get outside of range, it will not pull itself back in if we disengage it. And that's what the orange bar is, and you can see it's out of range. If we click our automatics off, we're good to go. Now let's see one more thing. You're gonna notice that this plan ends even though my job site continues behind me. So we're gonna go outside of the plan. Now, you're gonna notice it says off design. What happens when I try to hit my automatics? It's gonna give me autos are not available. It gives me an error because there's no plan. The GPS has no idea what it's supposed to do. Why do we have that? These are generally all areas where you're blending to existing and so you're freehand dozing. There is nothing on the prints on what it should look like. You're literally just grading for drainage. And that's why they don't bother putting any of those elevations or anything into uh, your plan. And so outside of design, you're kind of on your own. It's the Wild West. Do what you want. So that's kind of an overview. Uh, there is one thing I did want to show you. If you click the buttons up here, you can go to Start Tutorial. And it will walk you through this system. And then you can actually go through. And it has lessons on all sorts of file, you know, how to transfer your files onto here, using external light bars, using everything is in here that you can actually teach yourself. And I've had a couple questions that I'm gonna dive into these menus to kind of answer for myself. So this is such a powerful tool. They've done such a phenomenal job with this new one. I cannot, you know, Cat and Trimble teaming up on this one. I. Uh, it is amazing. I have thoroughly enjoyed using the system and once you figure it out, it is super productive. So we're gonna leave this video as is. I'm not gonna go into any more depth on this one just because there's so much to cover, but stay tuned. We are gonna do a series of GPS videos 
We'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, and by the way, if you, as always, if you have any questions or comments, which I know you will because there's a lot to digest here, absolutely drop them below, shoot me a message, and I'll, get, I'll do my best to get them answered for you. You guys have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>